Welcome everyone to this edition of Looking at Louisville. I'm Chaz. And I'm Stacy. And we are on the Bell of Louisville, a historical landmark that is known internationally. Oh, that's right, Chaz. And 95 years old this year, a legendary lady. She's the lady of the river, and we're going to go for two hours down the Ohio. We're going to have lunch, listen to bluegrass music, and just enjoy the scenic view. That's right. This is one of Louisville's icons. You know, we have the Kentucky Derby here, the fastest two minutes in sports, and this is going to be a relaxing two hours on the Ohio River. That's right. So we're going to take you along with us and uh, take a big chill pill and just enjoy yourself. I think this will be one of our most relaxing podcasts yet. Yes. All right. Let's go. Anchors away. Well, I'm here with Linda Harris, the CEO of the Bell of Louisville, and I grew up with the Bell. She's a merry old lady. I mean, get, for the people who aren't familiar about the Bell of Louisville, can you give us some history? She holds uh, the title of being the oldest operating steamboat in the world. Wow. Um, she has traveled more waters um, and gone through more lakes than any of her kind. Yeah, I heard she's a tramp. And she's uh, traveled many places. Tramp has come up. In their era, the, the steamboats were called tramps because they tramped from city to city to make a living. To be 100 years old in 2014 is um, nothing more than phenomenal. I think that's why they call her the legendary lady. The diva of the she Ohio. She's a diva. She's a high-maintenance woman, um, but she is in wonderful condition. A marine architect told us very recently through uh, her, his tour that she is in wonderful shape and that she might have another 75 to 100 years ahead of her to entertain and wow. take on excursions, our children and grandchildren. We were told about it and we thought it looked amazing, Th thought it'd be a fantastic experience, something we've never experienced before back home and uh, we're looking forward to having a great time here today. We are staying in, uh, in Louisville for uh, two years now and we are planning to go back at the end of this year and before leaving Louisville we have to take a trip on the belt. A great advantage you can get to the city if you don't happen to own a boat. Um, what a great view of the Muhammad Ali Center, you know when you're Further away from it, you can see the um, how they plan out the mosaic tiles to represent Muhammad Ali's boxing formations. You really get a great view of that from right here in the middle of the Ohio River and just the uh, cityscape as well. I was down here a couple of years ago and I saw a plaque on the on the river in Madison about the bell and I wanted to go on it ever since. So that's why we're here today. I love it. I'm glad it's still here. I hope it's here when my children have kids. I think it's a wonderful thing for us to have. I feel sorry for the people down in uh, Mississippi that don't have the Delta Queen anymore. I love it. I think it's great. This is a historical landmark, and we should be proud to be a part of the city and have it. Bluegrass is the music we play, the music we love. It comes from the heart of the people. Okay, we're here with Kelly Green, the Director of Sales and Marketing on the Bell Louisville. So Kelly, tell me, what, what type of event is this on the Bell that we're experiencing today, and what are the type of events do you do on the Bell? Every Sunday we have a, a terrific bluegrass lunch. Uh, it's been a tradition here at the Bell of Louisville. Like for, today we have the Whiskey Bent Boys, which is awesome as you can yeah, see. Yeah, they're great. Uh, it's, we encourage families to come on board, but it's a tr we're traditionally known for our bluegrass lunches on Sunday. Terrific food by Hall's Catering. Very Kentucky style food, Kentucky uh, fried chicken, green beans, music, salad, music. music. Yeah, most definitely. What better way to spend the Sunday than cruising up the Ohio? Aside from Sunday, on Thursday we have our sunset cruise, which is great for families oh, wow. and visitors. Fridays we have uh, lunch and dinner on both the Spirit of Jefferson and the Belle of Louisville. And then on Saturdays we're trying to do some more family oriented cruises. We'll have a magician and a clown to sort of entertain the children. We have a DJ that will adapt to the music that's on, to the folks that are on the cruise that day. We are starting some uh, wharf events, which will be free to the public three Saturdays out of the summer, one in June, one in July, and August. And we'll have a wharf free party that'll have a blues festival that's free. And then on the same night, you can buy a ticket to a new country cruise on the Belle of Louisville. Now this is what I call some good Kentucky cooking. A lot of food, a lot of exciting music, you know, the bluegrass, it's classic Kentucky, classic Louisville. Jim McCoy, he's the chief engineer for the Bell of Louisville. And Jim, we're kind of in a special place, the underbelly of the boat. It's got to have an official name. Where are we? This Tell is them. the engine room. You're in the engine room right now. And 
Um, this is we're kind of behind the ropes, but you can actually right. come down. I noticed that there children is a and their families. There's landing on the okay. stairwell. And the engine room is wide open, and the engineers are there to explain what is actually going on, and we provide handouts and uh, we this make really it a good neat. experience. I, I thought once you were on board you kind of had to stay on the upper decks. Well, I had no idea that, that. But that's the one, one of the charms of the bell. You can really see how it works. You can hear the engines or the roar of the fire in the boiler room too. Well, needless to say, this is actually a place where Stacy would say, another one of my good friends, well, needless to say, this is my good friend, it really is, Mark Doty and I, who's the captain of the Bell Oval, went to grade school and high school together. Nice seeing you again. Same here. Now, how, how many years have you been the captain of the Bell? Actually, this is my third year as captain, as the head captain, the master of the vessel. I've actually been with the operation for 28 years now. We put a lot of love and care into this boat, yeah. or she wouldn't be in the shape she's in today. Uh, the best part of the job is actually working on a boat during the winter months because we all strap on tool belts, become carpenters, window glazers, whatever it takes to fix whatever's maybe damaged during the summer months. It's, I think the max speed is right now, you know, the going is what, six to eight miles an hour? That's our normal cruising speed. This is original 1914. That's the original? That's the wow. original wheel, wow. except for the facing there. Now, is that for calling out? Is that just for decoration that, hour? It used to be working. That actually, before this indicator was put on, that you can see, we don't control the boat up from up here. We just let the engineers know what we want. So they're our transmission down below. As a childhood friend, are you going to let me uh, steer the ship in there? We can possibly do that. In other words, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. All right. Well, Stacy, I don't know about you, but it's been a great day out here on the Belle Louisville on the Ohio. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? Sipping mint juleps, listening to bluegrass music on the Ohio River. And you know, the, the, the food, you know, it doesn't get any better. It's like home cooking. It's really good. It was like you said, it was like a typical potluck, you know, a family reunion style. Uh, that fried chicken. That Coleslaw, With all salad. due respect to my mother, that chocolate pie was almost as good. I had the lemon hers. pie. Yeah, it was a, a, a wonderful Sunday picnic meal. Well, I wanted to point out, um, if you want more history about the Belle of Louisville, they have a great website at uh, belleoflouisville.org. And uh, it had a, a great history piece that you can watch. And I wanted to quote uh, something from it I thought that was really neat. It said that the Ohio River is what made Louisville a town, but the steamboat is what made Louisville a city. You know, it's really true. Uh, back in the 1850s, Louisville was the 10th largest city. Uh, because of the uh, the steamboats and the you know the, the Ohio River was uh, the, the major highway. This was before trains and uh, cars and airfare. Uh, and if you really want to go back in time and see what it was like, um, you know back then in that era, this is a great way to do it aboard the Belle of Louisville. Well, as always, you know if you have an idea for an upcoming story, please send it to podcast at gotolouisville.com. In fact, that's how we did this story. They emailed us and that's said, right. please, you know, come out here and do a story on the Belle of Louisville. So that's what we did. And I'm so glad we did. And you know, you can also find us on Facebook, just uh, do a search for Go to Louisville. And of course, you can do twitter.com slash go to Louisville as well. So as always, you're looking at Louisville. See you real soon. Cheers. Take that, Stacey.